Now, Snake Pass is a game which I first saw in its very raw stages at the Res Show in London in 2015. No secret, I am a huge fan of platform games. I always have been. Sonic, Jack and Daxter, Banjo Kazooie, right up to Ori and the Blind Forest. There's too many to mention. But Snake Pass, despite its very kid friendly family veneer, it's a game which is quite simply just so much fun. Of course, we've only seen this now at the very developmental stages, but from what I got to play at that point in time back at Res, even those very sort of early pre-alpha pre-anything stages was a game which just you wanted to play it more and more and more now indie games and smaller studio games just fun platform games there's something that i used to unwind and de-stress after playing really intensive titles like armor battlefield overwatch things which require you to be more permanently on edge so something like snake pass or city skylines fit perfect as a winding down game but it's more than this i think it's going to be either your thing or not but quite honestly if you love to just have fun with your games this is going to seriously hit the mark uh, i've only been as i say hands-on with this very pre-alpha stage of snake pass but this game from myself but also from members of the public who i saw there and were playing it and i would then speak to them afterwards it was really clear that people absolutely loved snake pass the devs who were on hand at res of course uh, seemed they seemed almost like taken aback by the amount of enjoyment and interaction they were getting from people playing the game i think it was a bit of a surprise to them because this game i think at that stage they were not sure whether they wanted to go ahead now this game is in full development but what is snake pass well as i said it's a platformer but it's also a 3d platformer which seems to be feeling like it's having a bit of a renaissance of late with things like ukulele coming up as well so as the snake in snake pass you've got to climb and wrap yourself around objects to sail up and move over them you've got to hang down and use your whole snake's body to move around the level it's a much more physical experience and it gets away from tired platform cliches like jumping and smashing boxes you've got to collect eggs as well and other items sometimes keys objects which will unlock your way forward so it's kind of like a puzzle game wrapped in a 3d platform skim the snake character is just absolutely hilarious uh, his look and movement his expression of crazy happiness when collecting his eggs it's something that i very much is going to hope go beyond actually just puzzles and you know beating each level i hope it's going to bring in some multiplayer elements some challenges uh, things that i suggested to the guys on the day and since with things like uh, fire mountain uh, the egg game from diddy kong racing uh, if you've never played that shame on you go and look it up immediately or better yet i'll probably link it down below um but snake pass is a game i can't wait to play hopefully we'll have some more access before release um tell me your thoughts about this game how it's shaping up and what you think about it any questions about that down in the comments and also don't forget the devs host a weekly live stream on thursdays 5 p.m gmt that's at twitch.tv forward slash snake pass